Hey, Reggie, can I borrow some toilet paper? First of all, don't call me Reggie. Second of all, I'm not going to loan you toilet paper. Please, Reggie. All right, fine. I'll give you the one that the hobo massaged. Hello, everyone. So, I watched the Super Bowl a few weeks ago, and I must say, I was awfully disappointed. The last time I remember, football was when a bunch of blokes kicked the ball around the field. But no, here in America, they have a bunch of big burly fellows beating each other for a ball. What the bloody heck is up with that? I don't get it at all. And what was up with all the beer and Dorito commercials? It's almost like they were sponsoring the event. Oh well, you must excuse me, I have to go practice my piano. <laughs> piano concert was maybe that I just didn't have enough practice because this practicing equipment, as you can tell, just isn't good enough for me. I need something different, something better, like a grand piano or something. The problem is that I just don't have enough money to buy a grand piano. I can barely afford all the stuff I have at the moment. I can barely afford this apartment or meals or... That's it. Meals. I'll, I'll open up my own restaurant. And then I'll have enough money to buy a grand piano, and then I'll become really good at piano, and then I shall become famous! This is perfect. I have a friend who is a chef, a really, really brilliant chef, and he can be my chef for the restaurant, and then it'll be awesome. Hello, James. This is Reginald Snootyson. What, you don't remember? From college? Remember I was the guy who yelled at you several times? When you were so uncivilized back then. You don't remember me? But, but, oh, now you remember me. Yes, yes. My voice, my voice is not annoying. Why do you think my accent is annoying? What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you that way. Anyways, I'm opening up a restaurant, and I was just wondering if you would like to be the chef there. It's going to be very amazing. What? I am not one of those. Don't even... Don't even call me such a bad name. You... Oh, I hate you! That loser! 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 Can't believe he'd call me such a dirty name. I'm not going to tell you that, of course, because... The thing he called me doesn't really belong on the internet. Where am I going to find a chef now? Bill, what do you want? I came to pick up my toilet paper. Here, now get away from here. Gosh, Reggie, why are you in such a bad mood? Because I'm opening up a restaurant, and I don't have a chef. I'll do it. I used to be a chef at a restaurant. Oh, yeah, right. Like, I'd ask you to be my chef. But, Reggie, it was a five-star restaurant. Don't call me Reggie. Five-star restaurant? You're hired. Yay. Oh, Chavez, I'm so excited. My restaurant is opening up today. I always wanted to be a restauranteur. This is going to be so amazing. I can't believe that Bill is a chef. Of all people, who knew? Well, I guess sometimes uncivilized people can have civilized interests. Okay, well I have to go now. I have to go open up my restaurant. <gasps> oh my gosh, I cannot believe that happened. Okay, so the first customer that we serve, Bill serves him soup. The customer eats the soup, and then the customer turns into a big grizzly bear. It turns out that the soup that Bill made makes people turn into bears. How weird is that? Oh, and you wouldn't believe what else. It turns out that Bill's five-star restaurant was five stars out of ten, not five out of five. Okay, and you wouldn't believe the worst part. The bear attacked me. It was vicious, I tell you. <laughs> that stupid Bill ruins everything. Someday I'm going to teach him a lesson, I will. How am I going to be able to afford a grand piano now? I guess I'll just have to find a different way to make money. I've got it! 